Hey everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Previously On. We are doing this week's episode live and in person. Um, as we, as always, with me, I'm Lemus, and this is my co-host, Digital Dachi. A little less digitally this time, so he can use hangers to assault me with. Um, this is the week of July the 23rd, 7 21 At least you didn't mess that one up this um, time. Yeah, well, it's because we filmed it on a different day last time. In my defense. So, as you can see, we're live from my studio audience here. Um, in my studio. I was going to say in your studio. I don't see anything alive in here except us. Fair enough. And I wonder if we're alive. Or... After today, What if we're in limbo? That's a whole can of worms. I ain't opening up this week. Whatever. Um, so, the reasoning for this, other than just wanting to hang out and have a good time... We uh, have been started getting the nursery together, uh, so in order to do that, we had to haul some stuff to the dump. So we got the first half of the room done. Next Friday, we'll get the other half. So next Friday, you'll probably get a live on-site video as well. Actually, next Friday, they will because we got plans to go see a movie next we're Friday. We're going to watch Green Knight. Yeah, we're going to watch Green Knight. So you guys will get a real good double whammy next week. My computer's going to be doing this. Just ignore it. Um, it's not hard to ignore you. But, so here we are to do a little bit of previously on. So, um, still got to still gotta go through all the usual motions. So we're going to start off with, other than obviously today, us going to the dump and doing all this stuff. You've been doing anything interesting? Anything exciting this week? Went to the movies. Ah, you did. I ate steak from a Mexican restaurant. Uh-huh. Uh, I beat Resident Evil 8. Nice, nice. What was your run time? Mm, right around nine hours. Not bad, not bad. <clears throat> like nine oh four maybe. Nice. Uh I like that you're already like you've been able to like at this point check off each of like the boxes for the category. I brought stuff for us to try. Yep. Warheads. Let's see uh, who uh, it's gonna be kind of a sour challenge. And then brought two little mystery boxes which I don't know which one I want to try. Yeah, I'd, I'd take things out of his hands all the time. It was there, and then it was gone. I thought this was one... I wonder if the Chase character... It's Freeze. I know. We'll get to it. We'll get to we it. We will. Yeah, yeah. sir. Anyhow, that's what we got coming up. But for now, so... And so you've literally got things to talk about in each category. So, uh, so you've been doing a lot. So, outside of, like, eating, watching, playing... In the doing, I guess today was the biggest thing. We, um, oh, I helped you move stuff today, yeah, yeah. So we got all the stuff out on the back deck and then moved it into his truck, loaded it all down with a mattress, and we had to, um, use some uh, bungee cords. Bungee cords, my brain, people. We used some bungee cords to uh, strap it down and maybe some old Halloween lots that no longer worked that we used to also kind of tie. It down. I still think those were a waste of time, but whatever. Probably, because I think the bungee cords did a good enough job. But we didn't know. In our defense, we, you didn't know until we got there. So we went and did the dump thing, dumped stuff, a big giant TV that we had to get rid of, which was my gladdest thing that we got rid of. Because uh, it was huge, it was heavy, it was taking up space. It's just, it was a monster. And we got rid of it. Um... So it was fun, and then we actually had a little bit of dinner and watched a movie here, which we'll get into later in the those categories. Um, but this week, I will go right into, we'll change it up a little bit of the order, and we both actually beat Resident Evil 8 this week. Um, and both of us had about the same kind of runtime, a nine-hour runtime. There's my computer telling me I have a private event, which I do not. Other than this, unless it's just a reminder... We got previously on to record, and guess what? We're That's reminded. happening. Um, so we did both beat Resident Evil The only good 8. thing about being here is I can hit him if I need to. If he needs to. Let's not encourage it. Um, Reflex. Also, I'm really not this short compared to him. I'm just slouching. He's slouching. Like a slob. I've, that's me. That's a mood. I feel that all the time. Anywho, uh, so yeah, so obviously I think we will do a, probably this coming up week, we'll do a more in-depth breakdown talk on Resident Evil, but do you want to give some brief thoughts and conversation to that right now? 
Why don't you, for once, you always ask me. So here, what, do you want to give a brief breakdown of your thoughts and ideas, sir? I would love to. Let Thank me you. Let just dive right into that. Um, I loved it. Like I said, the game, again, especially towards the beginning, but it kind of kept on that track where it had a very Van Helsing meets Resident Evil, like the old Hugh Jackman Van Helsing movie, which I'm a big fan of. I love that movie. Um, I love the whole lore and the werewolves and vampires and giant fish monsters. Um, the game had a great story. Uh, like I said, we'll do a more spoilery breakdown later. Um, I really like the direction that they've went in 7 and 8, doing the first person view and kind of into this tale and story. My only my only regret is that now they kind of hint around that they could set up for a Resident Evil 9. And uh, I'm kind of disappointed because I don't know how long we'll have to wait for it. And I, the story was so good in this one that I just want to dive right in the next one and see where the next one takes you. Well, you have the case for 8 here somewhere, right? I've seen uh, it a second ago. Yeah, sure. What'd you do with it? I do not know, to be honest with you. He had it. It was on his Oh, desk. here it is. Oh, let me say it for a second. I want to say something. You continue. You continue. I mean, that was pretty much my spiel on the whole deal. Uh, was that uh, it was... I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I am anxiously awaiting them to do another installment. Again, I don't know if it'll be in the exact same vein. But I'm hoping it will. I'm hoping they stick with this style. And I think that they should. Because it's been very widely popular. Seven and eight. Well, there's a lot of things that's caught uh, caught traction, as in the universe kind of coming together. Yeah. Pop my elbow. Sorry. I had to pop my elbow. I'm listening. Never heard of somebody going, oh, pop my elbow. It usually hurts. It does hurt, but it also... But anyway, a lot of the stuff comes around full circle in ways you don't think, like... Oh, gosh, yeah. The the symbol for Umbrella gets revealed how it even became it's a origins, thing. yeah. You've got this thing that starts the whole Resident Evil franchise, more or less. Yeah, basically the whole thing that spins off into the progenitor virus and the T-virus and stuff. Um, the whole inspiration behind all that, which again, you, like even that's kind of later in the game when you find that kind of stuff. Like this whole first half of the game... It is that whole kind of... The, the game does a very fine job, especially story-wise of pulling that between myth and science like kind of like the more mythological like obviously you, you know the the game is based around like vampires and werewolves and lichens and such but then they tie it all into kind of like a sciencey way which is very interesting like um so like it. any other thoughts before the spoilery no, breakdown we'll just uh everything i want to talk about is during the later half of it and i don't okay. want to spoil anything in this video okay but it was was very good very fun uh I'm not big on replaying games, but I would almost replay that. Same, honestly. Because um, I don't know where, because the last save I did, because I don't do multiple saves, which I should do, I guess, but I didn't do a save towards the end of it. Like, yeah. I saved right before you go fight the last boss, and I don't know if that's going to impede me from being able to explore the world, or... Fair enough, I didn't even think of that. Because I don't have another save file, and I would have to play all the way through it again. And mind you, it's not a terrible game to play through. Yeah, but a lot of notes, uh, a lot of stuff to uncover. Just a really fun game. I agree. Um, I, I recommend. Uh, honestly, if I was rating it, I don't know. For me, it'd be a nine out of ten or a ten out of ten, even because like it just. I definitely give it a high nine point nine, if yeah, anything else. That's what I'm saying. Like I would definitely put it up there. Um, uh, you've been playing. I know you've been playing some Final Fantasy fourteen. Play Final Fantasy XIV. I've got my astrology to level sixty now. Ooh, wow, nice. I have twenty levels to go, and all I'm doing with it is healing. I'm trying to get ready for the new expansion. It's uh, it's got two classes I want to try. One's called Reaper. It's got a big Grim Reaper scythe, which if anybody knows me, I like Grim Reaper -y stuff, especially scythes. Um, and then it's got a new class that they just started talking about called Sage. Which is a new healer, and I love healing in that game. So I'm hoping this healing class continues my want to heal in the game. Okay. Other than that, I haven't played too much. Uh, 
I think we played a little bit of Star Wars. But we, got we didn't do much, much this Star week. Wars this week yeah. because we've been busy. I did show you a little bit and introduce you to What Remains of Edith Finch. A little indie game. We'll try to do more of that. i got to get the videos edited of that and get it up. And we'll try to do more of that soon um, with your commentary on seeing that game for the first time. I thought it was a very fun, interesting uh, little twist. Don't worry, his computer has another reminder. Yeah, apparently. You're a very popular I can actually, person. I mean, you could just turn the volume off. There we go. Hey, look at that. Yeah, how about that? Works like a charm. 90% of the time, every time. Um, uh, let's see. Other than the stuff that we're going to be eating tonight, have you ate anything else new? Oh, you talking about steak? Uh, at I the tried Mexican steak restaurant. from that Mexican restaurant over next to the movies in Corbin. It was actually really good. I thought it was going to be like dry or something, which I mean, I guess I shouldn't assume stuff before I tried, but it was really good. It had a lot of juice to it. Uh, it wasn't real fatty. I got it medium well, or mm. medium rare rather. Mm. Medium well. What's wrong with me? I'm special. I, medium well or well done is about how I eat it. I know everybody. Is I, I look forward to your letters and your comments, but I just, I like it more well done, personally. It's just how I like my meat. Um, I tried that thing you made today, which was pretty good. Yeah, uh, my... It's a different take on the lasagna. Yeah, it's my nun's nacho lasagna is what we called it. Um, uh, I made that, I first made that, it's been a while. It had to be like 2015, 2016 when I made it, so it's been five, six years. Um, I made it, it was one of the days, it was when me and my wife, at the time was still just dating, and we were living together with my parents and stuff, living in their house, and they had went out somewhere, they were somewhere for the day, and so was my brother, so we had the house to ourselves, we was house sitting in the house and stuff, and we was making it a day, actually, ironically, we were watching Resident Evil. Hmm. Me and her had had done like a little one-off deal. So she hadn't had never seen the Resident Evil live-action movies, and I had never seen any of the Scream movies. And she's a big horror buff. So the deal was we was going to alternate. We'd watch Scream one, Resident Evil one, Scream two, the second Resident Evil movie, Scream three, and so on and so forth. It's not and, a terrible way to do it. Yeah, and so since we was there at the house by ourselves, and we was in there, and we didn't have a lot of like big big meal stuff so i was kind of scrounging around the cabinets and threw this together as a casserole type dish um it's kind of more of a casserole but it's I'm got just gonna layers, tell you so. when you said casserole i was like already checking out i was like i don't do casseroles oh i love making casserole but see again my type but of casserole i don't consider what you did a casserole well yeah so um it's it's a very simple thing it's very meaty cheesy nacho-y and Frito corn chippy. Bunch of layers of those different things and then a nice thin layer of mozzarella cheese on top. Maybe one day I'll do a video of me making it, preparing it, show you guys. You guys can get in on the inside scoop. Um, but yeah, we call it Nun's Nacho Lasagna. For some reason that was the name we came up with and it stuck. And we and every now and then we'll get the ingredients and make it. Um, but yeah, so because the guys was coming over, uh, obviously Dodge is coming over, my brother was coming over to help me do the cleaning the room out. And I was trying to think of a, a good meal that I could throw together to feed all of us. And I thought, oh, I ain't made that. And it's been a been a hot minute since I made it. So we uh, threw that together. It's pretty good. Um, I was nervous since it had been a little while. I was feeling a little rusty in the kitchen, but it tasted great. It was pretty good. So and I'm not one for nacho-y stuff much. But it was really good. Well, thank you, sir. I do try. But... Uh, I mean, you're talking about that Mexican steak makes me want to get Mexican sometimes. I, see, I'm not a Mexican person. I don't like Mexican much, but their steak in that place was good. They had burgers and stuff you could have done, but... Yeah, see, like... I was I'm, like, I really wanted steak, so I was like, you know what? I just got paid, I'm getting steak. Yeah, like, I'm not a real big... Like, I have to be in the mood, but there's times when I really do enjoy getting some good... Going to a good Mexican restaurant um, and getting something like El Dorado. Right, next week before we go to the movies, yeah. we're definitely going to have to uh, go eat somewhere. Okay. Yeah, we'll go eat somewhere, get some good pictures or video, get something to talk about. Um, and then, 
some reason I'm going blank people I've, I've done too much today my brain is shut down so uh, have you read anything this week I feel like I did but I do not remember I don't think I did to be honest I feel like maybe last week I'd read some comics but for the life of me I can't remember I did read uh, in the storybook, the big fairy tale storybook I showed you guys last week that we got for Ivy, I did read one of the stories out of it to her this week, and then we read the Little Golden Book Haunted Mansion book that we got. Um, so that was very, uh, it was really good. I really liked that Little Golden Book, and I know that they actually have several other little golden books that I'm really curious about wanting to get very different that unexpected so we're actually talking about thinking about going back and getting some more of those because I know when we were at books a million they also had a Jurassic Park little golden book and a Ghostbusters little golden book and I really want both of those um so that was exciting I think that's the only thing really we've read um again and they're just both the uh the fairy tale book the first one we read in it was like the boy and the crab or the crab and the crab plays a game or something it's like a little old fable fairy tale about how the crab was made and how it was kind of mischievous and it used to be a lot bigger than it was but because it was mischievous and stuff it got shrunk down and it got forced to have pincers and all this stuff it was a bunch of craziness um but it was, it was a cute little like fairy tale story and then obviously the haunted mansion book was just great um, it basically just it's basically just walking through the ride and like the scenes in the ride and it's a kid experiencing it Isn't that also a movie? It is a movie now the movie is a lot different than the ride I guess you could say and a lot of people didn't like the movie I for one me and my wife both really like it, it had Eddie Murphy in it uh, It gets a bad rap because I mean, you know, it's I mean, the let's just I mean It's not gonna come to a surprise. But I haven't seen it. So I liked it. I, I enjoyed it. Maybe uh, this year when we get ready for our gearing up for Halloween movies and stuff, we'll uh, give it a watch, see what you think about it. And speaking of that, that's a good place to transition right into what we've been watching. I watched old. You did new watch M. old. Not Shyamalan movie. It's really good. Really good. Because I, when you were like feeling like you're hopeless and have no idea where you're going in a movie, that's a movie for you. Feeling trapped. So I know you said that you like trying to predict and guess stuff. How much of that was you able to do in this? Was it pretty good at keeping you guessing? or I, It being an M. Night movie, I was expecting some kind of weird twist. So I just kept thinking, where's the twist going to be? Where's the twist? And I kept throwing myself off with it. So. Gotcha. But for the most part, I was able to be like, okay, this is happening. But a lot of it, it seemed in the trailers more supernaturally than it is. I mean, it is supernatural, but it's not like paranormal supernatural. Gotcha. It's uh, its own kind of thing. It's, I'm, I'm intrigued. It's a nice little... It actually would harken to a Resident Evil movie in ways once you watch okay. it. Okay. I'm very intrigued. I am going to watch it. I do. It is one that I'm very curious. I do like Shyamalan for the most part. Um, now, a lot of people didn't go see it. I will say that when I went and seen it, there wasn't a lot of people in the theaters, which is, you know... Whatever, I, I don't like going to the theater when it's crowded anyway, and I usually sure. don't go to movies when they come out, but I'm trying to be better about not sticking my nose at home. For you guys. Get out and see some movies to talk about. But uh, it was really good. I enjoyed it. Nice. It was uh, really odd and different. In a good way. Yeah, it was really good. I'm gonna have to I would watch go it. watch it again. I'm going to have to watch it soon because I am curious about it. I, just, I didn't know if, if it was going to be a movie I wanted to watch in theaters or just wait and rent. Because I'm, I'm one of those weird people when I go see a movie in theaters, it either A, has to be like a big, like, has to have a lot of special effects or be something that you really want to see in theaters. Or it has to be something that, like, it's something I'm so dead set on or a franchise or something I'm so interested in. Um, but that one I do want to see. I just wasn't, con I wasn't con uh, uh, convinced, committed oh. to or convinced. Uh, both words really work to going and seeing it in theaters uh but you do you do sell it pretty well you do you I mean, got I me very curious it. um so i will definitely have to watch it soon and then i want to watch green knight like we said i do want to see uh, it. free guy that looks good i feel like there was something else Why that not? came out 
I want to go see Snake Eyes. I was going to say, yeah, that's the one I came close to going and seeing this weekend. I came bad close. Um, because it came out this week as well. There's a lot of movies coming out in the span of the next few weeks I want to go see, and I will go see them. It's just... Yeah, I've got so many over the next couple months. I want to see Snake Eyes. I do want to see Free Guy. I want to see Suicide Squad. I want to see Shang-Chi when it comes out, which that doesn't come out until September, so I got a little bit on it. But September may be busy for me. (laughs) It'll I'm be sure close. It will. Yeah, October is the due date, so October eighth. So, depending on we when gotta go September. do your guys' maternity pictures at some point. Yeah, we're gonna. That's have to gotta get out. done quick. Yeah, yeah, because it's gonna escalate pretty quickly. Um. Well, otherwise, I know that you watched a new movie tonight as well. I did. That you hadn't seen. It was new for you. It's one of my favorite movies. It is my favorite movie from that year, from twenty nineteen. Um, right before we had the disaster year, we had a year with really good movies. 2019 is one of my favorite years in recent memory for just so many good movies. But that one was my favorite, and I got a beautiful collector's edition, which I'll have to show off next, uh, next time I left it in the other room. But, we watched, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Quentin Tarantino's most recent foray. Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio in a love letter to old school Hollywood back in the 60s and 70s. Uh, how'd you like it? It was different. I know I say that a lot, but it was not what I usually watch. Because I don't watch much, but... but it, still, uh, uh, it being the era, and I don't want to spoil too much, it being the era and who it was involving towards the end, I thought it was just going to show like the way the history books play out. Because it is very much set in natural, yeah. like, the American history. Yeah. But I expected it to just play out like it was supposed to. But then, as it's called, Once Upon a Time, which means it supposedly has a happy ending, and it did. Yeah. And it's a very, like I said, unexpected but welcome kind of twist. Kind of a surprise ending kind of thing. But even, like, that's my thing about it, is that last 30 minutes when when it goes it goes um which is amazing and it's just awesome it's classic tarantino um but even the parts leading up to that again if you're a fan of the old school movies or any kind of retro classic he does such a beautiful job of painting that era and the cars and the music and the people and and lifestyles and stuff that even the first half, like, it's, it feels like two separate movies, this, the, that last part and then the first half of the movie. They, they don't match up hardly at all. But if you take them separately, like, that first half is a beautiful, like, love letter and homage. And then that second half, it goes full Tarantino. But then the ending kind of brings it back to, like I said, the Once Upon a Time part and that fantasy part. Um and like I said, it's just a wonderful movie. I've got the poster over here. I've got the collector's edition that my wife got me for Christmas. It's got the uh, one of the vinyls, and it's got a uh, another poster from the movie, the Blu-ray with all the special features, and then it's got like a Mad Magazine comic book strip thing in it. Um, but yeah, it's a great movie. I think some of the best acting Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt have ever done. Like they absolutely great in that movie. Um, so yeah, it's just one of my favorites, and I was excited to introduce you to it, and, so I knew it wasn't your normal thing, but I knew that you would be able to appreciate it for what it was kind of deal, and so that's why I wanted to introduce you to it. It was really good. And I'm glad that you, uh, allowed me to do so. You're welcome. <laughs> I am the police. Uh, you been watching anything else? Any shows? Any other movies? There was something, but I don't remember it now. I was looking around on Hulu trying to find something to watch. I wanted to go back through and watch the old Power Ranger stuff. I know but I think it's on Netflix. Netflix yeah. More so. Um, they got the movies on Hulu. Really? I didn't know that. I don't do Hulu much. Like, We go to Hulu for certain shows, but we have the ad, Hulu with ads and stuff. And sometimes when it goes, when it's supposed to go to a commercial break, it'll like mess the show up or start glitching up real bad. I don't know why, but our Hulu apps are just messed up. So nine times out of ten, it's more trouble than it's worth, and so we just don't mess with it unless it's a show that we're like, like an actual weekly show we want to watch. Or we started watching Dragon Ball Super on there. I don't know if it counts, but I mean, uh, I'm finally part of the TikTok world. Whoa. Yes. 
I personally think TikTok is one of the dumbest things in the world, but whatever. If James sends me stuff and I got tired of trying to like, okay, let's open this and then open this and then open this and say play. Well, like I said, it's got some craziness on it, but it also has some really entertaining videos. It's got some really good stuff. Like, because I was the same way. Well, I fought it let, for so let's, long. Well, let's go ahead and just put this out there, though. I don't like things that are popular. I don't like oh, involving I myself. I don't either. Trust me. I'm with you on that. I've always been told that I have to be difficult, and I do. Like, and I get that because, I mean, me and my me and the wife are the same way. We fight things that are, like, the popular on the boat. Again, I I just started watching TikToks earlier this year. Um, but we did the same thing with Stranger Things. When Stranger Things came out uh, on Netflix and everybody was telling us to watch it, everybody hyping it up, and I'm like, God, there's no way this show's that good. I don't know. Just And so we put Stranger Things off for like a year. I One think season, season of two. Stranger Things has uh, the guy that played Spock in the new Star Trek movies. If it does, I missed him. I know he's in the episode where I don't know what season. I'm wanting to say three for some reason. There's a hotel that has like they hang bodies up in the basement. You're thinking of American Horror Story. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Yeah. One or the other. Stranger Things about a bunch of kids playing D and D and there's aliens. What the? Okay. See? There you go. Being Two different out, things. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I digress. It was That's popular, a, too. To be fair, yeah, I was going to say, that is another show that got, like, overly popular that, again, we didn't watch until, like, they came out with, like, season six of American Horror Story, and we, it wasn't until, like, season two of Stranger Things that we watched it after kind of all the hype had died down, and then I'm like, well, we got nothing else to watch. We'll watch it. And then we binge-watched all of Stranger Things season one and one not because it was actually good. That's the problem is most of the time we'll, we'll pass on stuff that's super popular because we just don't want to, we just don't like doing that. But then when we do watch it, it turns out sometimes the popular thing is right. Well, my problem with TikTok was I don't do social media stuff hardly. That's fair. And that stems from junk way back in the day, but that's whatever. Uh, so I was like, no, 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 no. And I just decided whatever. Slowly bring because it back. Well, it'll be the only thing. I'm not getting Facebook. Well, no, I'm not Absolutely not getting I don't Facebook blame ever. If it wasn't for the, uh, the author stuff, I don't know that I would have a Facebook. Uh, but we're going to use my TikTok for you guys, and we're going to use his TikTok for you guys and his book stuff. What the heck was that? I, there's a little flat back here, and I got my finger caught in it, and it hurt. I'm going to get playing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, TikTok. For his for this and mine for the book stuff. <laughs> I'm fiddling. I'm a fiddler. Not like this kind of fiddler, but this kind of fiddler. Um, a fidgeter? I don't know. Anyhow, point is, yes, and I did my first book TikTok up, is up on there. It's just a short, quick plug mainly for the book and for the author stuff. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I, I'm a... I'm interested in, in seeing how, if it helps, and see how that goes. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys want to, definitely follow us on TikTok now. Um, mine, I believe, is just under Lemus, maybe Lemus88. Uh, yours is the Red Pout, unless you changed I, it. I changed it. Did you? It you just the, named it Lemus, then. It used to be the Red Paladin because... <laughs> ah, stop. I go. was a, uh, uh, a Riverdale fan. Yeah, Lemus 88, and then mine's Lemus under 88 Digital Dachi. And Digital Dachi, so... Which I guess it actually shows my real name. Is that what that means? I don't know. I don't know. If you look at my profile... But it'll be me. under Digital. It's at Digital Dachi, and mine should be at Lemus 88. So you'll find us there. Um, mine will be a video of me talking about my book and showing it off. Um, so yeah, so that's exciting news. That's about, we've not watched a whole lot. We watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with you tonight. Last night we watched the new Turner and Hooch series that just started. I don't on, even know what that is. <laughs> I knew you would. So Turner and Hooch was a movie back in the 80s, 90s? I think 90s maybe, early 90s. With Tom Hanks, where he plays like a cop. We was born in the 90s. I highly doubt we would know. Either way, Tom Hanks plays a cop, 
and he ends up having to get this dog as like a canine unit partner or whatever but the dog's like destroying his apartment and he doesn't want it and he's all like oh come on you know and uh classic tom hanks like comedy type thing and they end up working together and solving crime this so, isn't even glued down how did you get hurt because i see the little hole i had like that i had my finger in it and then it got caught somehow Stop judging me. Turner and Hooch. Um, and the new one, it's a series. It's kind of like a continuation of it with his son, but played by Josh Peck. And he gets a dog that looks like the original Hooch. All this stuff. Anyhow, it's really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. Had, uh, you know, fun moments, emotional moments, action-y moments. Um, I think Josh Peck's a very underrated actor because he got started on Nickelodeon. Um, but he's a good actor. Uh... And it's a good show. Good start. First episode. So I enjoyed that. Other than that, I don't know that we've watched anything since last Friday. Uh, no, because I talked about Space Jam and Osmosis Jones and all that last Friday. You did, and I looked up what Thrax was. It was just a... Yeah, so that was last week. Yeah. So... That's been a long week. It is, but at the same time, like, I've not done anything this week, I'm just realizing. Because normally I have a lot more that we've watched, but not really watching anything. We will hopefully this week. I've got a lot of shows that are starting back up with new seasons or new shows. Oh, I finished Ultraman Season 1 on Netflix, the anime. Uh, I did finally finish that. Oh, I just remembered all kinds of... Okay. Yeah, so I finished that. It was really good. Here we go. I'm, I'm excited the flood for floodgates. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm excited for that. I mean, it's really only two things, but, um, it was good. Like I said, it's a really good series, 13 episodes. It's good breeze through. It's been picked up for a season two. I don't know when season two is coming, but I hope soon because I really enjoyed it. I also watched Air Force One, which is an old action movie with Harrison Ford. It's basically Die Hard on a plane. It's very similar to Die Hard, but just on an airplane with Harrison Ford. What's Die Hard? I need a cry break to go cry emotionally because I'm emotionally... Oh, my gosh. It's okay because you know what? Guess what? Here you go. Two years ago... Go ahead and cry. I hope that's not the one I cleaned ranch off the floor with. I don't know. I didn't know you cleaned one. <laughs> I spilled some ranch the other day, and the closest thing to me was a t-shirt. What's this even say? It's my Game of Thrones shirt. It says a lion does not concern himself with the opinions of a sheep. Well, here, sheep. I don't, I just put that over there. I don't need it. You said you were going to cry. I need you to watch Die Hard, but it's okay because you're going to. All three of them. There's, no wait, no, you'll watch all four, but the fifth one don't count because the fifth one sucked. In my but opinion. you said I'd watch all four. If there's five of them, shouldn't I watch all five of them? Even if the fifth one sucks? Probably. Okay. We'll Get your numbers something. right. I have all five. We I went to school in the same area. I have area. two separate oh, Die Hard box sets. I don't know why, but I've also not ever fought it or complained about it because I like Die Hard. Um, a movie I, I have not watched that I want to watch is Batman Long Halloween. Oh, I do and that part one just came out. I know. We'll have to watch that soon. Uh, Titan season two. I haven't watched season one but Titan season two or three whatever the hell they're three on. Three is coming out. Three that's it's going to okay, have it's, Red Hood. It's going to have Red Hood. You get to watch Jason Todd get killed. So I'm excited. Yeah, cause season... I did not know that the guy from Game of Thrones that played Jorah. Jorah was He's playing Batman. Batman, yeah. Yeah. With Bruce Wayne. See, I've not finished season one of Titans either. I've I started didn't watch it. it. I've watched all the way up to, ironically, I think there's an episode called Jason Todd, but it's while he's still Robin. But I think that was the last episode I watched was him and uh, Dick, who is not yet Nightwing, but he's also not Robin anymore. It's a weird whole thing where he's having an identity crisis. Um, story of my life every day. <laughs> He, uh, him and Jason Todd, who is the new Robin, kind of did go off on like a side-off team-up mission. This is, like I said, the show's pretty good so far, what I've watched of it. And I do want to watch more. I just, for some reason, haven't. But I will. Also, so Air Force One was good. Die Hard on a Plane. We will get you to watch the Die Hards uh, because I own all of them. And last year, I did a big marathon of them around Christmas time. It's Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Fight me. Um... And, uh... Breaking news from our director.
Some nice T-Rex footage on TikTok. Thank God it wasn't a shark, though. Jesus Christ. Oh, we've seen a shark blimp this week. Here we go with this. It was amazing, dude. Come out of the bank. This kind of stuff doesn't happen. We live in like a small rural area. This kind of stuff don't happen. I don't think I've ever seen a blimp in real life. And like... I think I have. I've been to 26 states, though, so I'm sure I've seen one. Yeah, fair enough. Um... I've never sat and counted how many states I've been to. I'll have to do that. That'd be a fun exercise. I um, used to, uh, every state I'd go into, because my dad was a truck driver, I would go to the rest area, it, like the first rest area when you used to cross over into a new state, and get one of the little maps. So I had like a stack of maps. Oh, that's smart. See, I didn't think to do that when I was riding with my dad truck driving. I would go into every rest area, but it wasn't for the maps. I usually had to go, because usually, because he drove the night shift, I would drink as much Mountain Dew as I could. I was in high school, and I was a Mountain Dew-loving man. Uh, Mountain Duke, if you will. Um, look at my shirt. Mountain Dew. I'm telling you, I'm ready. Um, but, yeah, like, I was... I had to pee a lot. A lot. The good thing is, when he was working for Walmart DC, which is when I was riding with him cross-country and stuff, because they actually allowed him to have one of us go with him as, like, a guest... Um, good thing is, is Walmart's was 24 hours back then, uh, before the whole COVID thing. And so normally I would get to go into Walmart's three, four, five o'clock in the morning. Most of the time when not another soul was in there and it was just two or three workers cleaning up the place and stocking the place and looking at me like, who the heck is this punk? And I would go in, go straight to the bathroom and then go back out to the truck. But I digress. Um, it's funny because... Sometimes I would go in with him. He would have to go in to the back and get sign off the papers and wait for them to unload the trucks. Um, and I would watch him come up there and actually unload the pallets and stuff and the boxes and stuff off, standing around with him waiting. And then fast forward to 2014 after I graduated high school and I was working with you actually unloading other trucks when they pulled up there. And I was thinking, man, what a funny world. Full circle. We had done so well not mentioning where I worked. Up till now, which is fine. I work for Walmart, whatever. My views on the world, though, are my own. They have nothing to do with that place. Yes, fair enough. Just like your views on your or your workplace doesn't affect your whatever. To be Disclaimer. Fair. If we can be fair for a moment. I didn't say you still worked there. I well, said you whatever. worked there in 2014. Anybody that knows, I, I don't... I've had, like... I've had three under-the-table jobs, but I've had, like... Two actual jobs. One was a sawmill. The other one was Walmart. Fun times. Sawmill I will not go back to. I don't blame you there. Um, oh, we got off on a tangent on that one. Yeah, we got way off. What were we even talking about? You freaked out because I hadn't seen Die Hard. No, that's not how we got to this. We were talking about this because we were talking about the shark blimp. The shark blimp! That's what I was talking about. Because I'd never seen a blimp. You'd been to 26 states. Point is, I'd never seen a blimp in real life. Um, and we were leaving the bank, and here comes this yes, blimp. And it was pretty low down, and I was, like, so excited. And then as it got closer, it was a shark, and it said Shark Week on the side. And it was very exciting and exhilarating. And the road that we took home, it was kind of following that same trajectory because the local little small-time airport is over there. And right as we was passing it, was when it was making its descent to go land at the airport and it got real close to us and it was really cool and exciting and I loved it and my wife sent a picture to Dachi because we both know that he does not like sharks and we thought it would be funny um, she told me she was thinking about doing it but that she was not for sure and then she said nah that'd probably be too mean and I said no do it and then she did and it was hilarious um, I'm sorry. <laughs> look, look, you've tortured me before, like pictures of clowns and spiders and hangers, apparently. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Not pictures of hangers, but just using a hanger as a weapon. It's all right. Everything's fun and games till you wake up one morning and your house is surrounded by garden gnomes. True. I know some people that would scare more than me. Oh, would... wait till I surround your car by clowns. You won't go near it. Now, that is a different story. Clowns are different than garden gnomes. Garden gnomes, I just think of Fable, the video game. Um, and I want to think it's a challenge to smash them all. 
then I'm just gonna have a mess to clean up. Maybe I won't smash them. I don't know. When you're in Fable, you just somebody else's problem. If it's in my yard, it's my problem. <laughs> Dang then it. you got your landlord gonna be like, "Why are there all these gnomes in your yard? <laughs> all these smashed gnomes!" And I'm they like, look awful. You need to get rid of them. Yeah, they're like, "Why is all these smashed gnomes in your yard?" And I'm like, "Well, because well, I'm just talking about them just being in your yard in general. Your landlords will not like that." Well, no, but by the time they see it, they'll all be smashed, and they'll be like, "Why are these a bunch of broken gnomes?" I'll say, "Because they were whole, and it was creeping me out, so I smashed them, and I've not cleaned up the pieces yet. I'm leaving them there as a message to any other gnomes when they're <coughs> in the house." So, <coughs> off on another tangent from the blimp. The blimp was cool. Um, we were talking about watching stuff. We've talked about eating. We've talked about watch. We've talked about playing. So, I think that's about it. I think Have we're we? about coming to the tasting and the collectibles now. Yeah, because I was talking about Air Force One. That's how we got off on talking about Die Hard. Well, I know, but the Which movie Which, it was thing. a good movie. It was a good movie. Uh, I enjoyed Harrison Ford in it. He's awesome. But it was a bit by the books action movie. Again, it felt very much like every other action movie back in the day, story wise or plot wise. But I digress. It was still enjoyable. And that's all I watched. So now we got to decide do we want to sour first or open the Batman things first? It's up to you, bro, Chacho. I think we're going to take a sour, put it in our mouth, and try to hold it while we open. The Batman. Are these... These are rare. They're... What? I was making sure they were individually wrapped before we just start doing stuff. I assume they are, right? Why don't yeah. you not have these individually wrapped? Why are you keep taking crap out of my hand? Because you had already opened it. What flavor are we going to do? Oh, All right, let's, let's look at the flavors here. Here, you can I have it we back. just randomly pick one. Oh, what we got? Lemon, we got green cher- apple, watermelon, black cherry, and black, blue raspberry. Blah, raspberry. Blah, blah. Oh, I guess I could have looked at the back of it. Whatever. See, my personal favorite is <gasps> the blue raspberry. Same. I also think it's the sourest. Uh, it's between blue raspberry. Is ras- sourest a word? Somebody tell me in the comments, please. Well, I got bad news for you. You didn't get a single blue? My entire thing has no blue. Also, watermelon was not a flavor. Dude, I got a kid. lot of blue. Watermelon was not a flavor when I was a kid, so I'm definitely trying Are that Are you thing. sure it was? I'm pretty sure I it was. never... Well, here's the thing. If it was a flavor, Here, I'll I never trade tried. you a blue for a green. You didn't get no green? I got some green. I just... You just wanted more? Wanted and I need more. a blue? Yeah. I'm excited. I got warm. I've never... I'll try that one after the blue. So, what's the rules of this? I mean, it's the first one to make a face, right? Or wince. What's going to be the loss thing, though? There has to be a loss. We have to break this over the other one's arm. No! They're not that hard to break. I'm not. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to. That's the thing. I'm not going to lose. If that's that's your bright idea. um, What do you got? I don't know. Something that doesn't involve breaking crap on each other's body. (laughs) Um, This is what the viewers want. They just ain't going to say it. I don't want. What is this? The Three Stooges? Where are we coming up with? physical comedy yet. Um, I've hit you twice already. <laughs> uh, I didn't times. say we'd beat each other with your sword over there. Uh, yeah, oh my gladius. Or behind us, I think it's my katana. Katana, katana. Um, I really don't know, because normally it would have just been an extra food thing. We don't have any extra food things right now. Um... I mean, now, everything else we could possibly do is going to hurt both of us because we have heart conditions. <laughs> we can't be like, ah, oh, you got to drink this energy drink real I'm quick. I'm just thinking of something that maybe loser, whatever the loser has to do, you just find out on the next video. I mean, we'll come up with it this video, but we'll record it for the next video. Like, So say somebody's got to wear something in the next video. Or like... <laughs> Yeah, but you're willing to wear a tutu. I'm you not, don't care. No, I am, yes, I do. You n- do not. Do not make me bring up the Pictionary game, okay, sir? I know all about losing bets and what I'm willing and not willing to do. I don't remember the Pictionary thing. Of course you don't, because you cowered out. I don't remember and it, because I probably blacked excuse, it in the back of my head. Your excuse, no, you chickened out and left us, you and my brother left us two men short. It was five on five Pictionary. It was girls versus guys back at the church when we was in youth group and stuff. 
Was and that when the boys had to get makeup put on them? Yes. So I, that's not me chicken it out, though, because I literally get makeup on me. I have allergic reactions. That's so. what you keep Ba-dum. saying. Ping. That's what you keep saying. And I don't I, believe you. <laughs> You've seen me, like, my legs well, right now I, just from carrying change in them or sweat up the hair. Change has nothing to do with makeup. It doesn't matter. I am allergic to chemicals. Only thing I don't get allergic to is food. Point being. Point being. Should have helped us. We lost because we had three guys versus five women. I we, wasn't willing to look like a freaking blimp. I wasn't willing to do it. But that's just the game. That's part of the game. Well, I'm, if I'd lost, I would have had an allergic reaction and had to go to the hospital. And I am not willing to do that, sir. For the game. Not for that game. Fair enough. Um, it really was an unfair advantage, though. I mean, like, honestly. Like, our rule was if they lost, they had to be our slaves for five minutes. Which, granted, sounds way worse in the context. If we were eight. Um, or no, we yeah, weren't yeah. that young. We were like. When, when I say slaves, I don't mean, like, legit. It was, like, basically, they were going to have to bring us, like, cookies and milk. They were going to have to go bake cookies, and, and which still sounds kind of bad in retrospect. <laughs> Point is, we had to wear makeup, so. And it and here's the thing. They didn't do, like, professional. Like, I used to be a uh, theater kid, so I know about, like, professionalized stage makeup and stuff. No, 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 no. This was make us look as ridiculous as possible and then stare and laugh at us while we stood in a corner. My nightmares are over. Okay, so here's the drill. I think... Alright, loser has to do what? <laughs> it sounds stupid. All I've got stupid ideas to <laughs> say. Loser has to wear a silly hat for the entirety of Nick's previously on. <laughs> or, loser has to talk in an accent for the entirety of Nick's previously well, I on. I can't do accents real well. Exactly. What about loser has to pay for the ticket next week? Just to start out, it's boring, but okay, it, it's eight dollars for a movie. Yeah, ticket. yeah, that's fair. Okay, for this fair time, enough. we'll come up with fair enough. Penalties. We'll come up with better, better penalties, but yeah, fair enough. You know what? A gentleman's bet. Gentleman's bet. Loser buys the ticket. We certain blue. Yeah. Are we gonna see which? I mean, once we do one of these, we're screwed. Like. We're going to just be like, everything's going to be sour. Yeah, everything can taste pretty sour. So, there's no way we can be like, okay, which one was the most sour? Because sourest oh. is not a word. <laughs> it is now. <clears throat> Let's see. Put this over here. We need oh. our producer, actually, for this contest. That's probably fair. Producer! We need assistance on set. Not on camera, just on set. We need you to be a judge over something. You could stand right there. You don't have to be on camera. You just have to tell us who, who squints first. She's probably confused. I think she is. I would be. Come to the doorway. Did she just say no? I think she said she's coming. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Producer is on set behind us. You can trust us. Now it's a live audience because there's a baby and a producer. Anyway, you gotta see, you can't be biased either. Okay. Which one of us <laughs> freaks out over how sour this is first? Whoever makes the face. Do you got any kind of idea for a penalty? I said we break this over one of each other's arms, which no, these are no. not hard. I need my hangers. And uh, so we decided on this time around. The loser has to pay for the person's ticket to the movie next week for the Green Knight. But we got to come up with actual things. But do you have any other ideas, better ideas? Uh, he said one of us have to wear a goofy hat, which I'm down with. I'm okay with wearing a goofy hat. I like that idea. Yeah. Because we'll have to wear... The, the, the rule is you have to wear it for the entirety of next week's episode. Okay. You like that one? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. You okay. count us down to three, two, one, and we go. Wow. These are blue raspberry things. Don't have anything special. Just a uh, he's warhead. If you here, ever, if you ever had a warhead in your life, if you haven't, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had a trash can. Want to do that trash? Sorry. Three, two, one. <laughs> <clears throat> I just 
just won't laugh. Oh, wow. It actually tastes really bad. It don't taste good. I don't know if I would use bad as the word. It's not like I remember. The sour wore off really quick. Mm-hmm. This was a bust. And I don't much like the taste. I like that little bit. Of, I like it a little bit. Why were they so sour when we were kids? Probably I mean, granted, I eat Sour Patch Kids every single day. I was going to say, like, I'm a, I've, since we were kids, I've eaten a lot of sour candy and a lot of sour foods and drinks. Like, I think we just become accustomed to it. I guess at this point, we either... Do we just do a flavor we care, or... I guess so, because I really want to try watermelon. Cause I I'm do just not... saying, I really don't want to eat the rest of this, but whatever. <laughs> Spit tape. I feel like we're going to be eating these for 10 years. You know, kind of. Wait, I'll do this. That's why it's not just sitting in your trash can, sticky. That's fair. Yeah. Do you guys want to plastic... Uh, we can use this. It'd be okay. Good idea, though. <clears throat> and I'll use my receipt. Okay. Do you remember watermelon from when we were kids? You remember uh, the? Did you ever eat warheads as a kid? I mean, I wasn't a fan. I was not a fan. But you say so you've half tried them. <clears throat> yeah, before. Okay. I do, I really don't remember watermelon. I Here's how we're gonna do it. You gotta put two in. Two in. The two. same flavor. No, it can be different, because I'm thinking about doing green apple and lemon. Okay, I'm going to do watermelon cherry. I feel like this is a terrible idea. I can only imagine what green apple and lemon would taste like together. Oh, I know. I'm not really fond of black cherry and watermelon, but... <clears throat> Why I am are we torturing ourselves? <laughs> For the fans. Yeah. For the views. For the people. We're like the American Constitution, eating sour warheads two at a time. I don't know. That. Count us down. Three, two, one. Mm. That hits a little different. That's awful. Yeah. I'm making faces, but it's not like a wince face. It's just a disgusting taste face. It's bad. Like, <clears throat> the actual sour part is not affecting me. It's just tastes nasty. Tastes kind of good now, though. Mm. I like the watermelon flavor. I figured you would. So I guess this is just a bust. Because if two ain't going to do it, Three and five ain't gonna do it either. Three and five gives you a lot, John. You don't wanna do that. <laughs> well, we'll call it a draw this time. Does that mean neither of us wear a funny hat or both of us gotta wear a funny hat? We'll let the fans decide. Whichever one thinks that we. How many ever think the other one made a goofy face? I did. Like I, said, I will admit to that. It wasn't a sour taste reaction, but it was just a taste yeah, reaction. It, it was react. a flavor reaction. I mean, it was it was everything I could do not to just be like... Because it, was, like, it wasn't... It was sour, but it's not sour. It's, it just tastes really, really bad. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I did get these at a candy store, but it says they're good till 2023. No, they're good. They've changed Warheads a lot. The last couple times I've had them, they've been kind of an odd. Didn't they discontinue them and then... Yeah, and then brought them back. I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, My tongue is just destroyed now. You are welcome to stay or free to go. Thank you for assisting us. Big round of applause for our producer and you, the child. You're going to... The child... This is, Grogu? This, yeah, this is like Mandalorian. What did you do? Eat him? Really sad thing about Grogu, really. Possibly. He may be dead in the actual continuity. This That's true. It's true. Bye, Grogu. Bye. Thank you. Okay. 
Now we'll well, that was part. a. So was there a winner? I guess I guess we're saying that because I did make a face that well, I will take. Well, I don't want to count. Just I'll take a the face, L. Though. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. You guys tell you us. You guys can tell us. Or it, we'll... Do you guys want to see us wear funny hats? Or is there one of us you want to see wear a funny hat more? Or you guys can tell us something you want to see us do. True. All right. So, all right. I'm going to look at the box first. All right. Potential seven to collect. Batman, Robin, Batgirl, Harley Quinn, Bane, Joker, or a Chase character. So I, for one, obviously I'm hoping for Robin first and foremost. I'm hoping for Batman or the Joker, honestly. I'm kind of hoping for Robin or Bane. Chances are we're going to get two of the others, so... I've had these for eight months. Okay. I've got Barbara Gordon. And I actually got Robin. Interesting. These are neat little things, though. They really are. Where did you find these at? Uh... I don't remember. Maybe the mall? Well, I'll show you there. Well, little Batgirl. Which, do I have my Batgirl figure up in here? No, I've got one in the other room. Here's the cool thing about these, though. So you can display them. Yeah. Unless I break it, which is possible. According to that box, they connect together. Because it looks like there's a track or something on there. No, oh, there he goes. There you go. Yeah. And then you got a little and, display. And then if you need to, you can also do it this way. So you can do like that. Do them side by side. Which yeah. is funny that we got those two since they end up together. <clears throat> yeah, look. Right there together. And now we're going to have to split them apart. But yeah, I actually have a... Batgirl, kind of similar costume to that somewhere back in the other room um, from the new Adventures. <coughs> so it's not bad. Like I said, uh, it, they are really cool like designs. I really like the idea and the designs behind them. So, you know what? I'm impressed. I enjoy it. Add a little DC to your Marvel life here. Well, thank you, sir. I mean, you do have Nightwing up there, but whatever. I do have Nightwing, and I have the uh, Batwing up there. And I have a bunch of DC. Oh, and I got Batman up here. You thought you had Batman up there. I need you to look <laughs> away for about five minutes. Animated series, baby. The one true Batman. Um. So if you guys want to see us do more foodie stuff like that, when yeah, we try to do challenges. We could do like an actual sour chat. Like I've seen, I know exactly where to go to get the stuff too. Get the actual citric acid or whatever. Oh, not that, that stuff. That dried out stuff? No, no, not that stuff. But oh. I know where to go to get a plethora of sour candy and like spicy candies and stuff to really do some good challenges. So if you guys are interested in some of that, let us know. We can do some actual like just straight videos doing challenge videos. Um, with more sour candy, hopefully get a real test going on uh, challenging and, and our levels. Our sour reaction levels. I think I'm think i really fun. disappointed by this, honestly. I am too. Like, the watermelon one tasted okay after I got through the sour part. It had a better flavor than the others. But, I don't know. It's just... Well, I guess maybe... I'm keep maybe them. since we were doing a challenge, we were fighting it more, too. True. I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep what I've got left here. and Store it over here by the, the desk. I bought me... I went this week to get me for a snack bowl to keep at my desk. I got trail mix. So see, normally when I'm riding and doing book work, I like to have some sort of snacky. And so it is like a it's kind of like a Cajun-y trail mix. So it is spicy. So just be careful. I know you got a sensitive tummy. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't like hot stuff, I know. But <laughs> I've seen that coming. I know you. You don't like hot stuff, but. Um, so the thing is, normally I like, when I'm riding, I like some kind of snack. As you may know if you watch my five things that I need to write. And one of the things I normally like is sweet stuff, like M&M's. And so I was going to get a bowl of M&M's to sit here. But as my wife good. advised me, it would probably be healthier to do trail mix. Because a lot of trail mix has M&M's in it anyway. 
but it's not like I'm just eating straight M&Ms and sugar snacking on the whole time I'm riding, which was a genius idea, as always. Um, but, now granted, the trail mix I got does not have M&Ms in it, because I got the spicy trail mix, because I do enjoy the spicy. Um, but yeah, so now I've got some more heads over here, so I do have a little bit sour, sweet and sour with my spice. So I got a good mixture of everything. Um, but yeah, this is the Tex Mix Trail Mix, I think. Come to like Cajun y stuff, but I dig it. It's a good little brain food when I'm working and working on book stuff. So, I think that concludes this week. I think it brings us to the end of our wonderful previously on 72321. Next Friday, like I said, I'm going to be doing some more cleaning, doing some movieing. I have plenty to talk about. Probably sometime this week, I will try to edit and upload the video for the Edith Finch stuff. I know you've got some more Resident Evil 8 videos to put out. There's so much to do on those. Well, I mean, I know. I'm just letting you know that that is coming. I'm just kind of getting our what's coming down pat. And, uh, yeah, I think that that's kind of a big thing. And then, like I said, Wobbit's going to be experimenting more challenges, more food challenges, more travel -y, vloggy type stuff, and... As always, more previously on. So, and we're going to try to start putting some TikToks out, mainly to advertise the channel, but you never know what what will pop up on there. I'm um, going to try to do more like home vloggy type stuff and little like just catch you up, update by the minute type deals. So, be on the lookout for that. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy. Ring the notification bell. Pardon? Ring the notification bell. Ring the notification bell, as I guess Pinocchio is telling me. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that way you stay tuned and up to date for any new videos we upload. And can't stress enough, tell your friends, tell your families, get this out there. Anybody that's a nerd geek like us, like you, that just needs a podcast or something to listen to, listen to a couple guys talk and try weird foods and sour challenges, um... Talk about movies or if you just want to watch two weirdos be sit weird around, yeah, that's what we do. Uh, so just spread it. Give it. Give the gift of not a sidekick productions and previously on to someone who needs it today. Any Wait. final words? No, I mean you can try out our new saying, I guess, which we have now. <laughs> yes. So and it does not. Before anybody <laughs> jumps on this goofy <laughs> wagon of what I love it. Uh, he thinks it's a double meaning thing. I, think, I, I thought it was for a double super, meaning. I, I meant it for superhero things. I love it. You can say whatever you want. So you go ahead, sir. I love it. All right, everybody. This is not a Sidekick Productions. Leave us in Digital Dachi. Always remember to wear your mask.